I was at Venice Beach a couple months back. It's, it's, it's always like elderly Caucasian, you know, people is fascinated by chihuahuas, you know. <laughs> and, and then they always go, Mr. Rodriguez, look. <laughs> look, it's one of your own. <laughs> and then I swear to God, it's like me and the dog have something in common. It's like, <laughs> like the dog saying, Orale, what the was happening? <laughs> How you Mrs. Jinky get on? Like, oh, la cabrona, she makes me liquor at night, but you know, you don't want to know. What I gotta say with a chihuahua, you know? It's a dog, I'm a human being, it's a dog, you know? You don't walk up to some uh, German guy and go, hey, look at this, <laughs> you're a shepherd? <laughs> yeah, you're a Nazi dog? <laughs> I don't really think you're a country unless you have like a national dog, a beer, and food that's recognized around the world. That that's constitutes a country, you know? It's like, a, it's like, you know, a friend of mine says, you know, Paul, you're always eating that Mexican stuff. Vary it, you know, we, you know, expand your horizons and eat something different. Uh, I said, well, I like Mexican food. It's not that it's the best food. It's just that whatever your mama cooked at home, you kind of get used to it. See, and my mom was Mexican, and that's what she cooked. And uh, he says, well, you don't have to eat it every day. I go, I have to eat it every day. I mean, it's just like, you know, I went to Africa. I was there for six weeks, and, and that's as long as I've ever been without a tortilla, you know. <laughs> man, you think heroin is easy to kick, man. I was Jones in a I was in Johannesburg. Where is that Taco Bell? Anything else? Taco Bell, I'm not tacos. Man. My buddy took me down there. He goes, You should have some Ethiopian food. I'm going, Shit, there ain't enough for them. They got food now? I don't want to be racist, but what? Can you name me an Ethiopian dish? I, what is it? UNICEF rice? I, I don't know. Oh, well, only encourage me. You know, do you know that there's actually a little Ethiopia area over here? It's over there on Fairfax where the street gets really slim. You know, it's like a one lane. I couldn't make that shit up. It's on Fairfax. They, he took me down there. He goes, you know, it was a big white Fairfax. All of a sudden, little Ethiopia, one lane. People are driving like this. I go, what the? Is it? I guess the food's authentic, you know. I don't know. 